Hey guys, it's Rebecca and today I'm going to tell you about the story when I was about four or five feet from potential death. And no, I don't really think this is clickbait. I'm pretty sure it's like honestly true. Like I could have died and or gotten shot. So my friend Pearson and I, we were coming back from a trip uh, with our friends. So we walk back into the apartment and like I set my bags down on the couch and I just start kind of unzipping them and taking things out and unpacking and Pearson's standing over by the door uh, doing I don't know because I wasn't looking and all of a sudden like a gunshot goes off and my ears are just ringing because we're in a small apartment and I look up and I'm so confused and like just there's this horrible ringing in my ears and Pearson's standing there like this with like his shotgun pistol just kind of like dangling on his thumb and he's like are you okay and I like looked down at myself to like look for blood and I didn't see any so I was like yeah are you and he goes I think so and like I'm looking on him for bullet holes and I'm like holy what the hell just happened? So before I could even walk over to Pearson and make sure he was okay, he like walks out of the apartment and I'm like, holy shit, he shot himself and he is leaving so I don't see him bleed out and die. He's pulling one of those. Oh, hell no. So I like go running out of the apartment and I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. Like he's not shot. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's not what he's doing. And he starts knocking on the apartment door next door and I'm like and then it hits me I'm like holy fuck the bullet went through the wall and hit our neighbor and they're lying in their dead what am I gonna do like what are we gonna do am I an accessory to murder now so I'm literally flipping shit and he's banging on the door and no one's answering and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god then he's like Rebecca I need you to go get super glue because his thumb is like bleeding it turns out the gun like I guess when it misfired it like cut his thumb a little so I like run into the bathroom and I'm just digging through his drawer not finding any super glue just my ears are still ringing I feel like I'm having an enormous panic attack and I'm just like digging and there's no super glue so then I come back out and I'm like dude what the hell and there's just blood drops all over the ground from his thumb and like my ears are still ringing and I'm trying to keep the dog inside the apartment and he's just banging on this guy's door and then finally Pearson is like listen I need you to take the dog and I need you to go wait downstairs and I'm like oh, you yeah. so I take the dog and I like go wait downstairs in the like parking lot and I call up my friends who were like heading over and I'm like dude Pearson just misfired the gun in the apartment we think he shot his neighbor like La, la, la. and they're like what the hell what do you mean like I'm freaking the fuck out I get off the phone with them and they drive up and we're all just standing out there like freaking the fuck out and then Pearson comes walking down the stairs and he's like the neighbor answered he didn't even hear it he didn't even hear the gunshot and like he was completely fine and we were like what he didn't even hear it nobody heard it nobody came not an RA not anybody heard the gunshot or came looking and it turns out that the bullet went through our Keurig and into the electrical socket and all the little pellets from the shotgun got stuck, didn't go through the walls at all. And I'm just like, you know what? Like nobody showed up. Pearson could have killed me and like hidden my body and all the time that passed. Like nobody came or heard anything. Like he straight up could have murdered me. Yeah, I was standing about, it turns out, five feet from the Keurig when the bullet went off. Um, and it hit the Keurig. So, if that can give you an estimate of how close I was to potential death, you know, I'd say it was pretty close. I'd say this isn't clickbait. Um, I'd say moral of the story is uh, kids, don't play with guns, learn your gun safety. And Keurigs are sturdy. Yep, they're very sturdy. Well, I hope you guys liked my story time, and if you want to see more videos like this or anything else, just comment down below or give it a thumbs up, something to let me know you enjoyed it. And I will see you on my next video.